What's up guys and welcome to the next episode of our Cracker Pack series. Today we are opening up one of my favorites, Guild Pact. Uh, a lot of really interesting cards in this. Sitting at the top we have Leyline of the Void. We of course have our Gambit of uh, Shocklands as well. And a number of also just really flavorful cards. This is actually just one of my favorite blocks. The original Ravnica block was really just fantastic, I thought. So... Uh, we're going to go through through this, excuse me, uh, as if this is pack one, pick one in a uh, draft environment. So we'll actually get to look at all of the cards and see what we think we would take. Uh, obviously, I'm going to preface it by saying I could be very wrong because I'm not the best limited player, but I am going to do my best. Uh, if you do disagree, please let me know in the comments. There's nothing wrong with that at all. So we'll go ahead and start us, ourselves off with a Gruel Signet. Two of any color for an artifact. You can then pay one and tap it to add green and uh, red to your mana pool. It is basically mana ramp. It's also mana fixing. For that reason, I tend to like those cards, though not first pick. Uh, they're a little bit better in stuff like cube because you can actually combo with things like Tinker. Uh, and just general artifact, Talarian Academy is a great deck. Uh, so th for that reason, I like them, but they're not necessarily the best in this environment. They are still very good. Don't get me wrong. Uh, Gore Clan Savage, 3 and 2 green for a 2-3 with Bloodthirst. Uh, Bloodthirst 3, excuse me. And basically that means if an opponent was dealt damage this turn, this creature comes into play with, in this case, 3 plus 1 plus 1 counters on it. So you can, at max, have a 5-6 five, for 5, uh, which is quite strong, I will say. Uh, definitely not bad. I'm not 100% sure how easy that is to trigger late game. Uh, but obviously you can effectively throw some creatures in and hopefully get something in uh, just for even one point of damage. Um, and that way you'll at least get those counters. So we'll, we'll see about that one. Ogre Savant, a 3-2 for 5. Uh, when it comes into play, if blue was spent to cast it, return target creature to its owner's hand. This is obviously playing off the guilds. Uh, this is the Is It guild, to nobody's surprise. Uh, very powerful effect, honestly. Um, I like cards like this. I think, honest, I, I kind of like it better than the Gore Clan Savage, though I will say that this kind of commits you into two colors, so it's not the best. Uh, no, you don't need blue to play this, but it does obviously make it worthwhile. Uh, we'll keep it over here for now. Repeal, this is a great card. X and a blue for an instant. Return target non-land permanent with converted mana cost X to its owner's hand, and then you can also draw a card. This is great for a number of reasons. One, it can either combo with stuff you're doing, or it can set your opponent back a little bit. But it also replaces itself, which is really important. It is also instant speed, so you can play it whenever uh, needed. You can actually wait till the last minute and save your mana. Um, for that reason, I I don't know if it actually beats out these cards, but I really do like it, so I'm going to add it here. Uh, Scab Clan Mauler, a green and a red for a 1-1 with Bloodthirst 2. Uh, and trample so again at most this can be a 3-3 with trample for two that's hugely powerful honestly uh, a lot of good cards actually it seems like is it boiler works uh, this is one of the bounce lands it comes into play tapped uh, when it comes into play you do have to return a land you control to its owner's hand so you bounce another land but this taps for both blue and red uh, these are great these all of these uh, the bounce lands are fantastic it is technically ramp and it is technically fixing uh, so I like this a lot I don't know that I'd first pick it only because I'd really like to have some direction before going for the lands. so I don't think that would be it uh, so Hannah Ledgewalker is a 1-1 one, one for 2. Uh, it can't be blocked by creatures with flying, uh, and it can't be the target of spells or abilities you, your opponent controls. I generally like cards like this, but only really in Constructed. Uh, this is very much, you know, something you want to pile on enchantments and things like that, too. It's great in Popper for these, like, Boggles deck. Uh, but other than that, not so good in Limited, I would say. Uh, Restless Bones is a 1-1 one, one for 3. Uh, you can pay three and a black and tap it. Target creature gains Swamp Walk until end of turn. And then you can also regenerate it for one and a black. I don't like this card personally. Uh, yeah, the Swamp Walk is fine if you're against somebody with Swamps. But other than that, it really doesn't have that much worth in my opinion. Uh, this Sky Raider Trainee is a 3-3 three, three for five. As long as it is enchanted, it has flying. I generally don't like cards like this. I kind of talked about this recently. Uh, in another crack a pack I don't like cards that rely on other cards solely because if they're destroyed it's sort of just always going to be a two for one uh, and so for that reason I tend not to like stuff like this if you do end up in an enchantment heavy deck this is obviously the kind of card you want uh, but other than that not really my favorite uh, oh goodness Petra Hydrox 
I might have butchered that. Sorry. Um, this is a 3-3 for 3 and hybrid mana, which means you can either spend blue or red in this case to play it. Uh, so for 4, you get a 3-3, and when it becomes the target of a spell or ability, you return it to its owner's hand. Um, this is interesting. It's kind of pseudo protection for itself, but generally speaking, they're just not going to target it and outpower it eventually, so I kind of don't like it. Um, Rune Boggle is two and a blue for an instant counter target spell unless its controller pays one and then draw a card. I like that this replaces itself and sometimes this would be good on a sideboard kind of uh, tech, but generally speaking, I don't like taking cards like that first. Uh, Scargan Skybreaker, a three, three, four, four, five, six, seven, uh, all in total with Bloodthirst three. Uh, and then you could pay one, sacrifice it, and it deals damage equal to its power to target creature or player. I weirdly like this card, actually, because you can just kind of nuke something if you need to. Um, I will keep that in the running. Uh, Revenant Patriarch, 4-3 uh, for 4 and a black. When it comes into play, if white was spent to cast it, target player skips his or her next combat phase. It also can't block. I don't particularly like this card. I like that it skips the opponent's combat phase uh, in general, but it can't block. It's kind of meh. Uh, Battering Worm is a 4-3 for 7 with Bloodthirst 1. Uh, creatures with power less than Battering Worm's power can't block it. Uh, so it has sort of built-in evasion. It's definitely strong, but for 7 mana, I'd kind of want a little bit more than at max a 5-4. Uh, yes, the evasion is nice, though, I will say. Uh, and then our rare Leyline of Life Force, 2 and 2 green for an enchantment. If it is in your open hand, uh, you may begin the game with it in play, and creature spells can't be countered. That's definitely a powerful ability, but not one that I would prefer to have in a limited environment. So uh, these are sort of the five cards that I would be first looking at. It seems like there's a lot of really good gruel, uh, which is the green-red uh, guild here. I think I would go with the Skybreaker. Uh, it's a very powerful card. Obviously, it's late game, so it is sort of your bomb, but... Uh, to be able to just literally nuke something <laughs> is kind of insane. For at max six, even at three, you're going to kill something. Uh, so it seems kind of sweet to me. I think that would be my pick. Let me know, though, if you disagree. Please let me know in the comment section below. And obviously, if you do like this video, make sure to actually like it. And you can comment down below there and let us know. Uh, if you are interested in any of our other content, please make sure to subscribe. We do tons of videos every single week that you guys can get notified on and hopefully learn something along the way. But with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching.